And what I want to say is, can we learn French overnight? No. Can we learn Italian overnight? No. We can't learn any language overnight. Muscle testing is incredibly simple. Anybody can learn it and it gets better the more we practice it. So a lot of the problems, a lot of people go, oh, I did, I did a foundation kinesiology course and well, I just, I just didn't get any results. I'm like, you were still learning. You were still learning. It's a language. There's a lot to think about in kinesiology. So your muscle testing will come beautifully over time. But my daughter has been muscle testing since she was two and she tests me if I need testing and there's no one else around. She does a beautiful job and she's never formally been trained, you know? Anybody can learn to muscle test. We just have to keep practicing. So it's one of those things I like to say right at the beginning because it is a language. We need to practice it. And once you've nailed it, it will be in your neural pathways. It will then be like riding a bike. So if you didn't do it for a year, you'd come back to it and you'd go, ah, okay. So it's really simple. So I'm gonna work on, I'm gonna test uh, Tracy supraspinatus, which actually, so we use the Latin names. The Latin names, I remember kind of going, oh gosh, like I'm not particularly uh, structurally excited. That's not the area of kinesiology that particularly excited me. It excites Tracy. She is a muscle nerd <laughs> and I love that so much because she helped us write the textbook so beautifully. Uh, but I'm, I'm not, like the muscles never really, really, like the names of the muscles, it was nothing that particularly sparked my imagination and got me really excited. And so I found it quite hard to learn those. But what's so great about, uh, and particularly the way that we teach it, is we, everything is just done by, it's so much repetition so much repetition so it just becomes bedded in so we're going to work on i'm going to show you the supraspinatus which is actually sorry this muscle these are our textbooks they're pretty we're so proud of them uh so the supraspinatus muscle actually sits at the back of the shoulder here it's a really little muscle and it's linked to our brain so in the that list of the 14 meridians it's the central it's the brain it's really important and it's very easily switched off by stress. Driving position will put too much pressure on the supraspinatus. So we tend to find that most people will come into a clinic with their supraspinatus being a bit off. So we always work on the supraspinatus. And so to give you an idea of the sort of things you're gonna be learning is that the, you learn the muscle action. So what's the muscle action of the supraspinatus? So we always test the, almost the opposite of the you're going against what the muscle would normally do because you want to put it under pressure so we're going to test the, the supraspinatus do you want to show the supraspinatus the action yeah so we're going to test i'm going to ask tracy so if the muscle action is to cut this to do this i'm going to ask her to do the reverse so i'm going to ask her to push away from my hand and so what i'm doing in the muscle test is i'm applying about fair bit of pressure, maybe about five pounds, we don't do the two pounds, do we? About five pounds of pressure. And I'm just, it's not even about that, you know, because a lot of people bandy around those words. And I've never actually sat on a scale. It's like the clutch point of a car. Mm. What I'm doing is I'm asking Tracy to meet my pressure like the clutch point of a car. Our foot meets that clutch point. And then you can feel and you can see what happens with the muscles. So I'm gonna ask Tracy to meet my pressure. Actually, I'm meeting hers, we're meeting each other's. So you're gonna push out that way, I, I'm gonna come this way. So she's pushing that way. So we're going the opposite of the muscle. So if you push out for me, and, I'm, and we're meeting each other's pressure and then her arm is not able to hold it. So if you hold out again, and it's not able to hold it, okay? So that's a muscle that's switching off. That's a supraspinatus that wants correcting. So I'm gonna check this side hold nothing and actually the more that i do that that muscle oh will get <laughs> that muscle will get weaker and weaker until i could literally with a feather push that muscle down <laughs> so this isn't about tracy's strength tracy plays volleyball at a very competitive standard and i can tell you that she is incredibly strong in her upper body so this is not about strength. You could have a bodybuilder. This is about muscle response. It's a very different question to, 
You know, when you do lifting of some type, you're using lots of muscles. We've isolated this one little muscle in the back. And so I'm like, okay, well, this needs correcting. So I'm going to show you how we would correct it using the bees. First of all, I would be making sure that Tracy had a glass of water. It's definite. 